Next on the list is my favorite world edit tools. World Edit is another amazing mod you can get. There will be a link down in the video description. You need to get that added onto Minecraft in order to be able to use these features. And you can do that through the Fabric Loader, same thing as you can do with Masses mods. So you can get the Fabric Loader and get all these together, and they're, they're really going to help you out. But there are many, many features available in World Edit. We're just going to cover a few of my favorites today. And all of these I'm going to use are going to be based around manipulation of the blocks that you currently have. First up, the copy command. Let's say I have built this wonderful, gorgeous, modern house that took me hours and hours. And, okay, it took minutes to build. And I'm not sure that I want to lose this, but I want to try making some drastic changes to see how they look. Using World Edit, you can actually copy structures or uh, squares of blocks, wherever they're arranged, over to another area. So I'll grab my World Edit tool that's used for this, which the selection tool is the wooden axe. I'm going to come find the bottom corner of my block that I want to copy. And you can see it's going to set the first position when I left click. I'm just make a tower of blocks the other corner so I can get to the top opposite corner. And I'm going to right click. And now I have my second position selected. Now I can stand wherever I want to copy from. I can do slash slash copy. And then that's copied from the position I'm at. So now I'm going to move over here and I want to paste it at the position I'm at. We're going to type slash slash paste. And it's going to paste another copy wherever I stood. We can see that's an exact copy right there. Now I have a backup if I want to make some drastic changes to this one and decide I don't like it. So I can do the replace command, which is another one of my favorites. You can replace all blocks in an area. You can do this with the Minecraft fill command, but there's a benefit to this we'll see in a moment. And I want to see how this is going to look in yellow concrete. So I'm going to do slash slash replace white concrete, yellow concrete, and hit enter. And now everything inside that box is going to do that replace. And I can say, yeah, yeah, this is, this is, well, maybe we need to make one more change. Gorgeous. Now I can have the two side by side and decide which direction I want to go. And it's much easier to compare that way instead of having to do screenshots. Or I can kind of put changes on both of them, see which ones I like better, and choose a path to go build with. Or I decide that I don't like the direction that I've gone. This is another benefit of world edit right here. So the undo command, you can undo commands that you have done. So unlike the Minecraft fill command where once it's done, it's done. I could type slash slash undo and it's going to do the last thing I did. And then I can do that again. And again, it has a pretty short history. I think it's like 10 or something like that, or maybe you can configure more. Uh, but you can undo those changes with any of these commands that we're going to do with the um, the paste command, the stack command, all those things, you can undo those. And even if you do it over some naturally generated terrain and you realize, oh, I made a mistake. That was the wrong selection. Just undo and boom, you're back to your normal state. We also have a move command where we can move things in our selected area. So let's say that I've uh, designed this path and it's gone all the way down there and just pretend it's a bigger path. And I suddenly realize, oh, this way I went three wide and this way I went two wide. We can fix that with just uh, selecting this half over here. And then I can move it. So to do that, I'm gonna do slash slash move one west. Now we just fill in with the block that we want on our path, which I know all the builders are just screaming in the comments right now. Granite is so great for paths. I know builders, it's okay, it's okay, I, I got you. Or let's say you started designing a beautiful boat and you realized it's much closer to the shore you want it to be. Set my first position, set my second position, and then slash slash move, let's say 25 east. I was gonna move from over there to over there. And then finally the stack command. This is great for both builders and redstoners alike. If you want to create a repeating pattern of something, we can use the stack. So I'm going to first make my selection. So I've selected both my corners, and then I want to have it go 25 blocks in the north direction. I'm going to face north, stack 25. Now it's going to stack that up 25 times. Can combine that with the undo command if I realized, oops, I accidentally went too far and dug into the side of the farm. Or you can even stack things in a pattern that aren't one wide. I'll select my first corner. I'm going to select my second corner at the place at which I want it to repeat. So right there. 
and then slash slash stack five. And now it's gonna repeat that pattern for me as it goes. So that's gonna be it for the quick tips for world edit. There are a lot of things that you can do with world edit, something that warrants really an hour or two hour long video, which there are other people out there better equipped than handle than me. But these are the shortcuts that I use on a regular basis and in my opinion are extremely helpful. So just want to quick show those off. So I hope those helped. Catch you later. Have a good one. Bye.